Okay, so we're uh, looking at my AUPD dust and um, some Chinese coins in hydrogen peroxide. And they've been in there for about two days. I'm going to plug this thing. And see those little bubbly looking, I mean bumpy looking things? coming off of there, and that's um, apparently alpha particles, uh, and they glow blue, so you can see a sort of bluish glow there, and we're, you know, basically in the dark, but not not really, it's early morning here, so there's a little light outside, but you can see the alpha emissions. The yellow and orangey colors are beta emissions, um, and this is basically from platinum. Um, I don't know about the palladium, I haven't really looked, but it is palladium in there. The Chinese coins, however, have uh, our AUPT, which is uh, gold platinum alloy, and it's natural platinum. Um, the kind that comes out of the ground, I find it in volcanic ash, this white stuff that I've got in there. And it has a radioactive isotope or two, um, but the primary one is PT-190. Um, and it has both alpha and beta emissions. When it doesn't have enough neutrons, doesn't it's not able to um, separate or buffer the number of protons in the nucleus. And that means that it gives off alpha emissions to protons and to neutrons um, buzzing off uh, at relativistic speeds, right up there near the speed of light. Um, so those are coming off of there with very high energy, and, and you see that in the blue. Um, so... That's um, my little experiment this morning. And what you're looking at there on the top is bubbles. Um, because the, um, the um, platinum is breaking the hydrogen peroxide into hydrogen-oxygen gas. Um, by catalytic reaction. And it, they, it's just like the structure of the platinum um, has little dished out places that are uh, atomic in size uh, at the bottom, and, and uh, um, there's only room for so much uh, stuff, and the, the hydroxyls get, of hydrogen peroxide get drawn in and broken apart, and it turns into hydrogen-oxygen gas. There's uh, like six coins in there, six Chinese coins that weigh uh, um, you know, a couple of grams each, so 12 grams maybe maximum of uh, AUPT, and that's what all the blue is that you're seeing there, and that's what all of the bubbles are from, 
Um, there's also some palladium wire in there. That's what the silver stuff is. And it's got enough platinum in it that it's got some beta and alpha also um, because I make it the same way. Um, but I do AUPT and use this volcanic ash and that's where the where the metals come from and that's where the radioactivity comes from because it was once upon a time molten rock and it wasn't molten because the fires of hell are so hot under the earth. We call it the semi-molten mantle under the solid rock of the crust of the planet. Semi because of all the pressure. Molten because it's radioactive. And and what you're seeing, my my camera just has a lens and a and a sensor. Right? It's not selective. It doesn't select one type of radiation over another. It sees all radiation and electromagnetic radiation is the same from radio waves way out there, a big, huge wave, to gamma, which are just a little less energetic than, than an electron. Beta emission is the electrons, basically traveling at the speed of light. Uh, when they mix it up with light, there aren't any light little islands where the light's passing around them. Um, <laughs> they're all moving at the same speed. And there's not really very much mass there uh, to accelerate, and it's not like accelerating. It's already it, it moving at 300 million meters per second um, as it leaves the 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 crystal that it, that emitted it. So anyway, that that's um, another story. Anyway, we're boiling water and and uh, making gubby stuff on the top. Um, and all I did was put kaolinite clay in there. There's no gubby stuff at all. It was hydrogen peroxide from a hydrogen peroxide bottle. 